tell me where I can find Hugo Cortez. No hablo inglés, puta. This is your last chance, I say. You'll find out how I grind my Colombian in the morning. I don't know shit, man. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. He's in New Mexico. Where in New Mexico? Santa Fe. Why did he cross the border into America? Oh man, the homes ain't gonna find shit, man. Cortez don't play, oh basically, just wasting your time. We'll see. It's time to get the cartel out of here. Cut! I'm sorry, man. God damn it! Okay, everyone, it's a wrap for today. It's been a long day. Let's go home, let's get some rest. We're back here 6 a.m. sharp. Please, let's bring our A game. Oh, Simon, Simon. Wait, can I get a quick selfie with you? Oh, sure, if you can manage not to drop your phone. <laughs> My Instagram followers gonna love this. Simon! Great acting today. I really feel like we connected as fellow thespians. I don't know what that word is. What if it's a gay thing? <laughs> Flattered, but not interested. No, no, no. What I mean is that it's an honor to be working with you. I, I grew up watching all of your movies and you're still one of the best in this indie scene. I admire your work. <laughs> one of the best in the indie scene? <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, who watches indie movies anyway? I mean, have you seen this script? Who writes this garbage? My character is one stupid pun after another. The characters have no depth. It's an hour and a half of flat dialogue and even less interesting action scenes. <laughs> you, you my friend, you're lucky you only have a small part in this. I mean, look around. I've been on this set for weeks, playing Jacob Banks, an 80s FBI agent trying to stop an international smuggling ring. <laughs> I mean, they should call this movie Plots That Have Been Used to Death Beating a Dead Horse. Hey, I got that line from Matt Damon. We're close personal friends. Did I ever tell you that? How, how did he... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta get this. Jeez. They call this craft services? I'm better off eating from a vending machine. Hey, Jose, what are you doing in about an hour or so? Well, I was just planning on- Perfect. Listen, I might have a gig for you. An opportunity to walk in the shoes of Simon Westridge. Yeah, that'd be great, but why is it you don't want to do it? Well, it's another action hero gig. I'm just not into it. It'd be perfect for you Mr. Tough Guy, all you gotta do is go in, say your cheesy action lines. It pays $200 for the half hour. Plus, I've got a date with two Swedish models, and they'd be very upset if I canceled on them again. I'd be honored to fill in your shoes. What's the director be expecting you to do? Not a problem. My agent's handling everything. It's all good. Huh. How did I say yes? Hey, when Simon says, it happens. Come on, walk with me. Okay. This director is very unorthodox with the way he films. I mean, how do I put this? Ah, uh, you know what, just go with the flow. Follow the other actor's leads. This sounds intense though. Do you know what my lines are? <sighs> They're sending someone to pick you up. They'll fill you in. Just know that they're really heavy method actors. They're always in character. It might seem a little, how do I put this, weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Now, get to the end of the block. Chauffeur is gonna pick you up at the end. Awesome. I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you, son. Sure, have fun. I know I will. Swedish models, here I come.
You the guy? Bald, tattooed, muscle freak? Yeah, looks like our guy. You here for the shoot on West 39th Street? Yeah, that's our guy. Get in. Working with amateurs. You here to pick me up? Sir, are you the gentleman for the shoot on West 39th Street? Yes. Very good. Climb in. I'll have you there in a jiffy. So, our mutual acquaintance explained the plan to you? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I'm, I'm Jose, by the way. What? Keep your hands there. No names. I'm gonna call you Muscles. Call him Berno. Call me Montana. Montana? Mm -hmm. like Tony Montana? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Alright, uh, Montana! Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, I heard you guys have some lines for me. Lines? Well, we're going straight for this. You just go in, take your shot, Burn out of there. It's a quick in and out. Yeah. Where's your mask? You're gonna need it. This will go belly up without a mask. If he doesn't have a mask, I'm turning this right around. Yo, chill and keep your eyes on the road. Use this. Ugh. It smells like a old sock. You heard the man. You don't wear it, I'm pulling out. Plus, there's gonna be cameras everywhere, so. It ain't an option. What, seriously? On a film set? Okay, can we just drop the act? We're not even there yet. You think this is some kind of game? You're gonna go in there and plug Omar right between the eyes for what he did to Brother Anthony. God rest his soul. So you gotta be serious. I'm done with your shit, man. Where's your piece? My piece? Your piece, your hardware, where is it? Uh, whoa, these guys are intense. I better get into character myself. What, my piece? You wanna know where my piece is? Yeah, here's my piece, son. Huh? This guy fucking just took my... Yo, yeah. what the hell's wrong with this guy? Yeah, you know what? Your piece is now my piece. That's what's up. The guy's got balls. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Here. Let's take my piece. All right, listen up. This is the man you're here to take care of. His name is Omar Ansari. You, you might remember him from all his pawn shop ads he has on TV. Except, he ain't no regular businessman. Yeah, he's no ordinary businessman. He's got deep connections to the criminal underworld. That don't matter. To me, he's just a low grunt who overstepped his boundaries. So he's gonna pay for what he did to Brother Anthony. So you're gonna take that gun, put it to the back of his head, and no matter what that son of says, you're gonna blow his fucking brains out. I don't care if it takes one shot, two shots, I don't give a fuck if it takes three shots. You're just gonna get the job done because if you don't, if you don't, you ain't getting paid. And that's gonna be the least of your concerns. Alright. We're here. Alright, it's showtime. <laughs> This up. But shut up! You thought you'd get away with what you did to brother. And and what? Anthony! Yeah, brother Anthony! Whoa, well, easy, buddy. You do not wanna be messing with me. Hmm? Alright? Well, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna take you out, bitch. That that's a bad idea. Because the second you pull that trigger, you're as good as. Let's get the cartel. 
out of here. Whoa. Well, these are so impressive. Looks so real. What happened in there? He got, he got shot. Some thug shot Omar. There's so much blood. Oh well, they can kiss her deposit goodbye. I don't like people stealing my hits. Driver, follow that car that was just here. But sir, I was only paid to bring you here. Very well, sir. Hey, here's the gun back. Oh, that was really loud in there. Did you say cartel back there? Yeah, you know, it's like a play on words. That's smart. Makes it seem as though the cartel were behind this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, can you pull up over here? It's my stop. Yo. That's your money. All right, you don't know us, all right? Let's go. Ansari was shot and killed today on set while filming his new commercial. The shooter has been identified as indie film actor Jose Delgado. We at Channel 5 have obtained exclusive video footage of the incident. What you're about to see is extremely graphic and not suitable for young viewers. In a strange turn of events, the suspect is seen taking a photo with the deceased for Instagram. The caption on the photo reads, finally on the other end of the barrel. Hashtag don't mess with King Jose. Hashtag born killer yo. If you see Jose Delgado, please call the Crime Stars. This is more than 200. In other news, this woman is knitting hats for squirrels and you won't believe her. Did I really kill that guy? Did I? Fuck, fuck. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? 